The trouble with being young is that not everybody always wants to listen to what you have to say. It's always adults who get their voice heard, but that's about to change. Last April, the government introduced new laws that enables everyone in the country to have a say in how their local community develops and changes in the future. It's called the Localism Bill. I bet you and your friends have loads of ideas about how the place you live in could be improved. Perhaps you think your neighbourhood needs a new park or somewhere to hang out. Maybe a new community orchard, allotments or wildlife area to help the environment. How about a wind turbine for community energy, internet cafe or skate park? Perhaps a new school gym, solar heated swimming pool or adventure playground. Do you think there should be more affordable houses for younger people in your community? If only people would ask for our opinions about local issues. Why do we have to be old to have an opinion that counts? Why do we have to be old to have a voice that's heard? A community is not just made up of older people. Just because we're young, it doesn't mean our ideas aren't very good and views aren't important. Finally, we can all have a say. We've been given a voice just like adults. But how will our voice be heard? How can we express our views? I'm not an adult. I don't like going to meetings or being in a committee with the council. I really don't like speaking in public. Localism will now give me a voice. But how will it be heard? Community 21. Community 21. It's a project that aims to help young people use digital media to have a say in their community. It uses a team of young people like me and you to design and build a digital toolkit of apps that any community can use to make sure that young people get heard. It will enable young people to express their opinions by using the tools they're familiar with and use every day. Like their phone, text, email and blogging. It will help them learn how to use video, phone apps and computer technology like photo manipulation and 3D CAD modelling apps, so they will visualise their ideas. So they can design and create visions for how their community might be in the future. By getting young expert designers to train young community members to use accessible technology, the Community 21 project will turn their ideas into pictures, movies and animations that clearly communicate their ideas to the neighbourhood. After all, the future belongs to us. The Community 21 project aims to ensure that the voice we've been given by the Localism Bill gets heard loud and clear. Community 21 will help prove that by using everyday technology, we don't have to be old to have an opinion and we don't have to be an adult to get our voice heard.